Hey guys, Scotty here, coming to you with another video, guys. It's raining right now, so I'm sorry if you guys hear that stuff, but I just want to say, guys, look at all this stuff I'm still showing you. I wanted to make a video today just showing more of what I'm seeing in the news. And I mean, guys, there's so much stuff with this nuclear stuff going on. I mean, I really think tensions are at a point where any day, any moment, something can happen right now. I mean, look at what just happened on the news, guys. I know they over, they made like a big deal about it with that warship going to Cuba. But guys, that is very abnormal news. How many times have you seen a warship near the United States and the news is all over it? I mean, all of this stuff is just pointing to tensions being at a very high point. And that's why the media and everyone else is jumping on all these things that happen because it's just everything, guys, is at a... It's like at a boiling point right now, and soon we're going to see something happen, I think. But, I mean, guys, just keep going. Keep relying on Jesus. I mean, look around at this world. I mean, there's crime everywhere. There's lawlessness everywhere. People aren't the same. There's rude people everywhere. I mean, there's mockers and scoffers in every direction. I mean, everything the Bible describes being at the end of days is here. And, I mean, guys, the technology is here for the Mark of the Beast. They have robots coming. They have AI that they're saying is going to take everyone's jobs. We have extreme weather across the globe, which I've shown tons of on this channel. I mean, the birth pains definitely in the past couple months, and I would say even since the start of this year, have significantly increased in just the stuff that I'm showing. So... I just want to tell you guys again, keep looking up, keep relying on Jesus. If you don't know Jesus, guys, put full 100% belief in what Jesus did on the cross for you. Accept him into your heart, into your life, guys. You'll, you will gain eternal life, and you're going to know he's real, guys. And I'm going to put a video up right after I'm done speaking right here, and you're going to see how to do that. But, guys, I mean, just look around at this world, guys. It's like a stone's throw away. I've said this before of something happening, and... I mean, truly, it feels like that with this news and the things that we see every day. So keep looking up, keep relying on Jesus, guys. And if you don't know him, this video will show you how to do that. Jesus suffering on the cross is a picture difficult to understand. He was betrayed by a friend, arrested and falsely sentenced to death. He was beaten and whipped, a crown made of thorns pressed into his head. Bearing the cross, he stumbled and staggered up the hill to Golgotha. Each step of the journey getting worse, spit on, cursed, and mocked. But Jesus never looked back. He kept going. Jesus could have avoided the cross, called down fire from heaven, or summoned legions of angels to rescue him, to save him. But Jesus was not interested in saving himself. He was all about saving you. Every detail of this torturous path to the cross was part of God's plan to bring you to Him. We're all broken. We've all messed up and have all made wrong choices. And no one had to teach us as a baby about anger and selfishness. We just came out that way. Sort of a sin covering. But on the cross, with his blood he shed, the Bible says Jesus blotted out our record of sin, nailing it to his cross. The blood of Jesus washes away our sin covering. And his blood is our ticket. Our ticket to enter through a new door, a forever relationship door with God. So what do we do with this great news? The Bible says, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. You see, it's not enough to believe in Jesus with just your head. You must believe with your heart. Now, there's just one person alone at the foot of the cross. It is you. What will you say to Jesus? Say, thank you, Jesus for shedding your blood for me. I'm giving you my heart today, Jesus. I do believe you died for me and that you were raised from the dead for me. Please give me a new heart and a new life right now. God hears you and he is answering your prayer. The love of God is being poured out within our hearts through the Holy Spirit. 